So here it is, the very first uh, video for the new channel, Farm Life NC. Here it is, 34 acre farm. Um, bought it this Monday actually, uh, closed on it. Come out here and played around a little bit. Just kind of figure out where I want to put the driveway in. Uh, I purchased this along with a friend of mine. He's going to be doing a lot of uh, raising birds and animals out here. He's going to have a big aviary and everything. Got some. Got a pond in the back, gonna probably build some more for all that. So we kinda went in this together. Hopefully it'll all work out. It's gonna be quite a, a big project here. But that's the this is the road back here. There's a field up front that uh leads to the road frontage. So I'm clearing this path out right here. Don't really have any equipment right now, it's not on a job site, so come out here and play with the chainsaw some. Um Right here, we're probably about 800 feet from the road to the middle field right here. And this is where I plan on building a house and a workshop. Um, got all my perk tests done, septic permit and everything. So this is about a six acre field right here. Everything together is 34 acres. So the front is a, about a two acre field and is about five acres of woods right here to come out into this field right here um, that's where the shop's gonna go and eventually whenever I win the lottery the house is gonna go right here so if you look way over there by the wheat you can kinda see the, the property line so we can find a stake that one far back there it's like 650 feet wide right here and then it goes over there to that piece of PVC pipe right there All this will probably be the front yard right here. May fence that in, put some cows over there. But uh, we'll hop in the truck here and ride back and I'll show you the second half of the farm here. So we'll cruise around the, the field right here. That's my property line right there where the wheat's growing. It goes in there, there's a trash pile right there I'm gonna have to clean up. But I cleared the fence line down through there. That'll be facing the road up that way. And I'll eventually clear these trees out right here. So. And uh, it's kind of thin it out. Everything's just overgrown. It was probably clear cut 15 or 20 years ago. That needs to be, and they hadn't had anything done to it since. So it just needs a, a little touch here. I think I know somebody's got all the equipment to do it. And here's the pond. It's a uh, just a quarter acre old irrigation pond dug with a drag line and all the dirt was piled up over there. So what I'm probably going to do is, my friend wants to do is, is aviary right there and that way I'll catch all the, the runoff that comes out of this pond right here and it'll feed all his ponds because it goes about 200 feet more into the woods over there, clear all that out. He can put in his big nets and everything, keep all the the animals in. I came out here with a mini and opened these ditches up that way everything would start draining. Everything was uh it's pretty wet out here. Um when they logged it they didn't really care about fixing any of the ruts they made and it clogged up the uh ditch and everything. So here's the backfield it's probably five acres. Um so this will be the last backfield. And then the property goes back here into those woods about another, you see those far trees in the far right, probably another 300 feet. Um, so I kinda, I'm gonna try to build me a little path here around it so and see everything. And here's the property line over here about where this big pine tree is. So that splits another field off. Um, actually, the fella that owns that, uh, if anybody watches Lizard Lake Towing, Bobby Brantley, his uncle owns that uh, part right there because Bobby was out here the other day. So I'm going to have to get me a tractor here pretty soon and start cutting. Because everything is getting grown up. Mistakes and everything. I'm going to get them before somebody bush hogs them over. 
But as you can tell, I mean, it's no impressive amount of trees. Uh, there's a lot of them, not really many of them worth a the darn, but once you get in there, there's a pretty decent stand of, of pine trees, you know, probably eight to 10 inches around at the base. Um, it would amount to something one day. There's about a 20 foot of just hardwood trees here at the edge where you can't really do nothing with. So, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a quite an undertaking right here, you know. I'm only 25 years old. And I don't think I bit off more than I can chew, but it's it's going to be some non-stop days. I can guarantee you that. Uh, got to work all day to pay for all this stuff. And come out here and play around. Hopefully try to get something built to live in out here by the end of the year. Who knows if that'll work. But it's going to be, uh, I'm going to like it. You know, it's nice and peaceful out here. As you can tell, there really ain't a whole lot around. I cleared a path back in there to kind of access the back but that's pretty much it uh, I plan on you know taking videos pretty much everything that happens out here just kind of pretty much keep track of the whole undertaking and event from building the, the road in here um, the county I live in you pull a residential permit you can actually do everything yourself run the power install your septic uh, obviously, I can't drill my own well, but I can do a whole lot myself. Build everything. Uh, there's another little pond up there in the woods I'm going to probably fill in and just use that for a burn pit for now. But I think it's a good time to, to wet a hook and call it a, a good day. Hope you all enjoy the, the very first video to the channel and uh, go ahead and subscribe to it. Uh, should be a whole lot going on here real soon. Thanks.